Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, President's Day. Happy President's Day. And today is bitterly cold. Um, I am currently on the Upper East Side because I'm heading to the Russian Consulate General, Consulate General of Russia in New York City to give them my visa application for my Moscow trip. And in case you didn't know, I'm going to Moscow in two weeks. I'm excited about it. Consulate General. Visa section. Line starts here. Let's see. This looks so weird. This used to be a home, I believe. That's the building right there. That's the Russian consulate, and my visa is applied for. They say it should be ready uh, by next Wednesday, which or by this Wednesday, actually, which is very quick. Um, no, I'm sorry, next Wednesday, which is still pretty quick. I'm happy. That was when relatively well. Everybody was very nice. So, man, look at this building. What's well, a museum? Smithsonian. Very cool. Speaking of museums, I have the day off, and since I'm up here, um, I'm gonna walk down, down uh, I think 83rd area, and go to the Met. Go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art looking forward to that. They call this stretch of Fifth Avenue, <laughs> they call this stretch of Fifth Avenue the Museum Mile, because we saw that museum I passed by when I was by the Russian consulate. You also have the Guggenheim right here, which is obviously very famous, as well as a number of others, including the Met where I'm headed. Got my important documents. There's tons of people standing around. No one said anything to me. That's very nice of them. Good morning. Good morning. Um, can I get an adult admission? Sure. On the bottom two are your receipts, and you're all set. Thank, Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Bye. So one of the reasons I love the Met so much over other museums is that they try as hard as they can to put the art in its natural environment. So the Egyptian art in the pyramid, um, you'll see some of the other art, and they make the environment as the same as if it were, as it was when it were, existed, uh, when it was first created, which is great. This is one of my favorite parts of the museum. so massive you could never see everything. I've never been in this room before and it's beautiful. the art into its own environment. 
I mean, these are windows from some rich guy's patio or plaza uh, back in the day. And instead of just displaying them, they built this room for them. And it's gorgeous. Well, that was impromptu and great. The suggested admission for this place is $25, but it's pay what you want. So you could pay a penny if you wanted to and still get into this museum. And the $25 is totally worth it, but for someone who like me who is, uh, doesn't make a lot of money, it's nice. I can come here, I donate $2 and I can get in. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might walk. Central Park a little bit, depending on how cold I am. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go into Central Park. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to do something stupid and try to slide down this hill on my feet. Alright, let's try this. The dog was not okay with me sliding down the hill. <laughs> he was just he was just worried that I was gonna hurt myself. So there's a small castle called Belvedere Castle, I think, in the middle of the park. I'm not sure if it's open, but I wanna go try to find it to see if it is. Unfortunately, upstairs is closed, but I've been up there before and it provides a beautiful view. It's also just a very beautiful building. You can sort of see. I'm gonna give you a little taste of the view that you get. So during the summer, when they do Shakespeare in the Park and other theatrical performances, they are done right there. He got it, he got it. Oh, nope. Try not to end up like him, have all the ice. Luckily I have better balance than he does, back soon. Yeah, I did it. I'm just kidding, gotcha. <laughs> You made it down. So I'm headed back to the train right now, but I wanted to give you sort of a, uh, uh, a makeup itinerary, made up itinerary that you can use if you're in uh, New York. I would suggest coming up here, getting off at the 86th Street, four or five or six train. First thing in the morning, when the Met opens, go to the Met for a few hours. Don't worry about seeing everything. You're not gonna see everything, <laughs> I guarantee it. Uh, stay there for a few hours until around lunchtime. Come back east a few blocks to uh, Shake Shack. Get Shake Shack for lunch. And then walk across Central Park to the Natural History, Mu History Museum and spend your afternoon there. So, you know, spend an hour, hour and a half walking across the park, enjoying that. And then spend a few hours in the Natural History Museum until it closes. So that would be a recommendation from me to you if you come and visit New York. I'm catching up. I'm watching Eric's latest vlog. 
It's a shame he uh, couldn't get better footage when he was surfing, but um, I'm planning. Eric, I'm saying this now. I want to go surfing with you either this spring or this summer, so let's go and we'll get some better footage then. Good? All right, cool. All right, I have successfully resisted a nap. I laid down for like two minutes. It was close. And then I was like, Jacob, you need to be productive. I said, okay, that makes sense. And I got up, made myself some food, and uh, now I've been really struggling trying to or finding the right um, song, the right music for my Miami video. And so I think I'm going to attempt to write it myself. All right, update. I've been working for three and a half hours now on this song. And man, I think I might have done it. I'm not done yet by any means. I have to mix, I have to choose instruments, final instruments, stuff like that. But you guys are my subscribers. And so I'm gonna give you a special sneak peek. That's all you get to hear. Oh, but I'm so happy with it. Tell me what you think, and if you're excited to see the finished product. Okay, I'm gonna continue working now. Bye. Just in case you're curious, um, I write the actual music in uh, Finale. I use 2014. Um, for most of the, the instruments, I write it in here, and uh, then I export the MIDI file over to FL Studio, which used to be called Fruity Loops. Um, and then I create the beat in FL Studio because it has much better drums and it's easier to just create a beat in here. And then once I have all that, I'll record them, I'll save them, and then I'll move them over into um, Adobe Audition to do the final mix. So I'll just drop every individual instrument in there and mix them accordingly. And then I have my track. That's how I make music. I am finished, at least for now, but I have it all done, and it is 11.50. I started this around 6.30 or 7, uh, but it's so worth it. I've been waiting to edit this Miami video um, because I didn't have any music, and so now I can start. And I'm really looking forward to that, and you guys should be too. I am so excited about this music. So, that with now that that's finished, I think I'm heading to bed. I have to work tomorrow. Uh, it's almost midnight. So, as always, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.